let's write a simple program i'll open you can create a new project here or else i'll simply show you how to open previous project i am inside my project folder click on technotip.cbp it will import the main.c file so this is our c program that is main.c the first line you see here is a preprocessor here we are including a standard library file which has some set of useful functions in it which we will use in our hello world program stdio uh, it's a header file by the way stdio stands for standard input output as its name suggests the library has some useful read and write functions along with many other useful functions for example we have printf function present in stdio.h library file we simply use it in our program to print data onto the console window we need not know the implementation detail of this printf we simply use it and it prints the data on the console so we have zero errors executed the program in 3 seconds let me run it so we simply displayed the data hello world onto the console window so simple right we didn't write the logic for printf we simply use it and that printf is present inside stdio.h now main function is part of all c programs it's the entry point of a program execution function is a way of grouping some code together so this is called code block inside the main function uh, c has some keywords and uh, we'll discuss it in some other video keywords like int and return these are reserved words so we'll discuss about it in the coming videos uh, in standard it's a standard that the main function returns a integer value so we explicitly return zero at the end of main function okay so uh, each fun each statement in c should end with a semicolon if you remove it it will show some error it doesn't get compiled so each statement must end with a semicolon it's a syntax syntax standard syntax and also one more thing we need to write readable code we can even uh, take off these indentation and make it in a single line it still works by the way let me show you by building it let me bring this down if you want build it it won't throw any errors it will even execute so indentation is just for uh, readability of code this is a small program so you need not think it as a serious issue but once the program grows uh, these indentations and readability of code is very important so we have int and return zero here we'll talk about it in detail in the future videos when we cover keywords and other topics for now just know that this is basic structure of a c program you can have any number of printf scanf and whatever logic you want inside any function so so this main is a function so we can write a code uh, logic or just printf for now you only know printf so i'll simply write multiple printf uh, statements each statement must end with a semicolon as i told you before you can also write these three things in single printf it still works i am simply showing you how we can write three printf in a in a function so everything is displayed here by the way slash n you see in each printf is new line character whatever comes after that will be printed in new line on the console window so this is a simple hello world program you can simply modify some of the printf statements and see for yourself and and uh, note that main has parenthesis here which means it's a function and make and uh, just know that you may not understand it but simply know that the main method or the main function doesn't take any arguments 
that's it you may not understand that just yet in coming videos when we discuss about functions you will know that just know that main method doesn't accept any arguments so this is a basic structure of a c program a simple c program going forward i'll explain you what is keyword uh, why preprocessor statement and how to take user input from console window using scanf scanf is also present inside stdio.h itself the header file so we'll go in detail in depth in coming videos stay tuned please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and to our blog also share this video with your friends on social media sites and do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you